I'm making a series about 8K gaming, but felt this video would help answer the burning question that everybody seems to use to dismiss the entire topic. And that question is, what's the point in gaming at 8K? Personally, I wouldn't want to right now. 4K is the current high resolution sweet spot that, thanks to cards like the GeForce 1490, you can now run games at with minimal compromises to the settings and frame rate. But as someone who loves technology and in pushing stuff to the limits, I quite enjoy investigating 8K gaming even though people seem to dismiss me as being this guy for doing so. Because sure, it makes you feel superior to be able to dismiss 8K as being just a buzzword or as a way to sell more TVs. Is 8K used as a buzzword to sell more TVs? Yes, it is. AI is also something that's often used as a buzzword or as a marketing term, but I think dismissing these things simply for the way that they're marketed is just as deluded as believing the marketing in the first place. There's more value to having a nuanced perspective about these things, so I urge you to be better than either of these and to try and see it from a more objective perspective. Because you don't have to be polarised about literally everything ever. And at the end of the day, 8K is just a very high resolution. One that is too soon to seriously move to for most things, but it's cool that it exists and, yeah, it's fun just to speculate about what it can bring to the table. And it's more than that for me. Having been on the receiving end of the high resolution gaming debate before, I can understand why you might even want to game at 8K. Even right now. Put it this way. Back in 2016, when 1440p was seen as being quite a high resolution, I enjoyed playing Grand Theft Auto V at 4K medium settings. And that's despite many people demanding that I shouldn't enjoy playing it in this way. Their argument revolved around the idea that it isn't worth gaming at a higher resolution unless you can also run it at maxed out settings. Which is an odd argument to make when you consider another popular internet statement is that maximum settings are kind of pointless because in return for negligible improvements to the graphics, they tend to slow your PC down quite a lot. In GTA V's case, I genuinely found medium settings in that game to look good enough, and it freed up enough processing power for me to enable a higher resolution which I found added a lot to the experience. It added clarity and realism to the distant buildings and scenery in a way that running the game at 1080p couldn't, no matter how high I may have cranked the other graphics settings. Likewise, while I might be quite content with 4K right now, I can imagine 8K as being a great way to extract more of that intricate foliage detail in games like Talos Principle 2, or to better make out snipers hidden in a bush at 400 metres away in Hell Let Loose. It would help your massive TV screen hold up under the visual scrutiny of a split-screen game of some kind, or simply to make the edges of stuff in older games look super sharp, and to do away with the screen door effect in white areas of the screen. Because... No matter how many times people show me a chart of viewing distances and pixel densities, I know there's benefit to a display greater than 4K, because while my 32-inch 4K screen is awesome, I can tell it isn't as sharp as my 16-inch 4K screen is, nor my 6-inch 2K screen. Doesn't mean I'm disappointed with my main display or I'm desperate to upgrade to 8K, but it does mean I know there is further benefit to higher resolutions at some point in the future. And upscaling really makes some of those use cases potentially feasible now. And if someone wants a game like that, then who am I to put them down? The beauty of PC gaming is that you have the choice. We have ultra-high graphic settings if you have excess graphics power to burn at lower resolutions or in older games. We also have super-high refresh rate monitors should you favour the responsiveness of higher refresh rates. And we have high-resolution monitors should you favour higher resolutions instead. It's not some failing that you can't max out the settings in every game at 8K resolution on a 360Hz screen. It's up to you to find the balance between these different things that best suits you. My own personal sweet spot of settings, frame rate, and resolution depends very much on the game being played. And okay, maybe you think that 8K is excessive, but what about 5K or 6K? I remember being blown away by how much better the new Tomb Raider games looked at 4K than they did at 1440p, to the point where, even if I couldn't get it running smoothly at 4K, I would still rather target a middling resolution like 1800p than I would bite the bullet and drop it all the way down to 1440p. But boy, would I have liked some upscaling back then to be able to strike the best of both worlds. I've said that resolution should be treated like any other changeable graphic setting, and upscaling finally blurs that line. It's funny that something that is as objectively good as upscaling is, is another topic that people have seemingly become polarised about, but honestly, modern upscalers are so good that I struggle to see a reason not to use them. Ultra performance upscaling can make high graphic settings or resolutions feasible that previously weren't possible on your hardware. Upscaling at quality setting can produce the same sort of image quality as native but at a much higher frame rate, or lower power consumption. And if you really care about image quality then you can still use upscaling but to downscale the image instead, and that will make the game look better than native resolution would. Upscaling simply shifts the quality performance curve upwards, and that's great news for everyone. 
even if you may not choose to use all that freed up extra performance to game at 8K. Take a look at downscaling. When you game at a higher resolution than your monitor can display, it can make it look better than native resolution would. But gaming in that way is almost like a confession that you would benefit from a higher resolution than your monitor can currently display. And again, I'll highlight Hell Let Loose as a great example of when I would even use downscaling even at 4K to make out distant details. It's just a shame that game is so damn hard to run and doesn't support upscaling. So yeah, let's stop outright dismissing 8K and try to extrapolate into the future here. There will be a time in the future when you will be able to run a game at 8K well enough to make it preferable to running it at 4K instead. Because there is value to 8K, it's just diminishing returns over the jump from 1080p to 4K, but crucially there is still value to it. And I'm fed up of people dismissing something outright and thinking they're superior for doing so, when in reality they're merely showing themselves to be arrogant, ignorant, possibly both, I don't know which one's which, and short-sighted by stubbornly refusing to acknowledge that what we have right now isn't the pinnacle of what will be possible in the future. I grew up in a time when I looked forward to the future, and in future generations of consoles and hardware, and doing so didn't detract from enjoying what I had in the present. So try to share my enthusiasm for future standards and in the belief that things will only get bigger and better, even if you're not exactly rushing out to get an 8K screen right now, but hopefully you can still enjoy my 8K video series. I just wish I had done more 4K ones back in 2015, because I think people's thoughts on that back then would be quite interesting to read right now.